The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the De December, the March 8th edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. It's a fantastic Friday edition. Um, of course, uh, geez, I totally screwed that up, didn't I? I do that in my mind, I, and it just, uh, it just goes from there. Anyways, welcome to the Trader's Zed Show. I would love to take your call if you've got any questions at 877-927-6648. If you've got some questions but you can't call in, well, we've got you covered there. You can always send me an email. Send that off to Steve at TFN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Just makes it easier for me to pick out your email from all the junk that I get. And I get a lot of junk out there. Of course, inside our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. I think what threw me off there was I looked at my screen and I saw red. I saw red, the semiconductors. Now the NASDAQ 100 just turned red. What's going on out there? We're going to try to figure that out. Right now, you got the Dow up 99 points, S&P's up 15, NASDAQ just slightly negative. Russell's up 21, Semi's off 28, Tranny's up 47. So we got a mixed bag out there. Gold's up uh, 16 bucks. Well, silver being down 9 cents. The U.S. dollar index is off 24 pennies. It's completed the 1 to 1. A to B equals CD move to the downside. We're watching for any kind of bullish reversal candle there. Leading the charge dollar wise to the upside. We've got micro strategy of 22 bucks, 2 percent, 30 bucks. That was super microcomputer. I'm sorry. Micro strategy of 30 bucks, 2 percent. Super microcomputer, 20 bucks, 1 and 7 tenths percent. HCI group, 15 bucks, 15 percent. Coinbase, 13 bucks, 5 percent. BlackRock, 12 bucks, 1 and a half percent. To the downside, it's Costco, up 49 bucks, a 6 percent move there. Broadcom, 45, 3 percent. Asthma Holdings, 22. Um, Am, am, Amelix Pharmaceuticals off 80%. Holy shnikes. Oh, nobody's got that. That's a $15 move to the downside. And Lamb Research off 12 bucks. That's a 1% move down there. So let's go take a look at what you want to look at in the uh, markets. What would that be? Let's go take a look at the daily and the weekly equity future contracts. I'm not sure if that's what you want to take a look at, but we're going to. We're going to switch over to those white background screens. The reason we're switching over here is because, well, I want you to be aware of what it is at we're going into as we end the week and that means look at that bottom panel bottom panels weekly time frame es mini will complete a td9 count top this week now what that suggests is that price will pull back to test support and support is down at the 5038 level out there that's that green oscillator and change line that number is going to move if we take a look at the nq the nq is going to complete a TD nine count top this week now price is already testing that oscillator and change line it really needs a close below that to get any downside traction that being 18058 if it were to do that then we'd be looking at a battle at 17601 and 17239 that's the weekly chart for the nq if we look at the dow equity future contract it's completing its td9 count it's already testing that oscillator and change line that's still a number that price must close below in order to signal that we're going to see some kind of downside traction that number Right now, inside the Dow Equity Future contract at 38,812. The next area of support, should price close below that, would be down at the 38,113. If price doesn't close below that level, it's not headed lower. Maybe it's headed sideways. The Russell 2000, a close today above the um, 2097 mark, and we're at 2105, actually triggers an A to B equals CD to the upside when you take a look at the weekly time frame. So now let's go take a look at the daily. Why did I want to start with the weekly? Because we've got topping patterns on three of the four. And so I want you to be paying attention to that. Why? Now, typically, when you have a top on a weekly time frame, you'll see a top on a daily time frame. I did say typically 
Right now, it's not so typical. What do you mean? We don't have any kind of a top. We take a look at the daily time frame chart for the ES mini. It doesn't mean that I can't form a top. It just means the topping signals that I use to identify tops and bottoms out there isn't present. There's a rose momentum indicator signal that's been triggered. Absolutely. However, that requires a bearish reversal candle to identify a top. Maybe that doesn't take place till Monday. Maybe it doesn't take place at all. But we want to watch for that. So you want to watch for any kind of a bearish group. Maybe it, maybe it occurs at, today, at the end of the day. Now, today will also become bar number seven for the ES Mini. That says it could form a TD9 count top between Monday and Wednesday of next week. Uh, in the case of the uh, NQ, the NQ actually has a wave seven signal that has been triggered, was triggered this morning when we made its new all-time high. Now, that requires a lower high in order to confirm that top out there. If we did get that uh, signal, then we would see price likely pull back to the 17.793-17.924 area out there. In the case of the Dow equity future contract, it needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm its stop. So we don't have that. So while we've got topping patterns on the daily, weekly, and month, uh, day, the weekly time frame for the ESNQ and, and the Dow equity future contract, we do not have that same signal or any kind of topping signal, with the exception of the NQ, which could form a wave number seven top out there. Now, the Russell 2000, we talked about the weekly time frame chart potentially generate an A to B equals CD pattern the upside today. The daily time frame is going to complete a TD9 count. It also has a wave seven top, but I'm more interested in that TD9 count uh, pattern that is out there. Uh, again, the key level here that price would need to close below would be 2077. Let's go out to Philly and speak with John. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Uh, thanks for taking the call. And I was hoping you could help me with a very specific question yes. on NVIDIA stock, NVDA. Go right ahead. Um, Steve, if, in fact, uh, the candlestick, excuse me, if, in fact, the candlestick analysis gives us a shooting star pattern today, if that occurs, can you tell me what that would mean to you in the context of this stock and all your other work, uh, given, of course, this stock is highly extended Given it's up 80% or more year to date, it's now the third largest market cap um, stock in the country, just behind Microsoft and Apple. But it's a star candlestick uh, possible pattern that I'd ask you to comment upon, please. Sure, absolutely. So uh, I, I accidentally deleted that chart, so I've restarted it here. So we'll pull that up. We're taking a look specifically at the daily time frame. And what uh, Mr. Z is asking about, what John is asking about, right now that candle formation is not a bearish shooting star. But what if it were to form that at day's end? I would have to say here, John, and looking at this candle formation, there's no way for NVIDIA to produce a shooting star candle. And the reason is, if we take a look, and so a shooting star, folks, it's the opposite of a bullish hammer candle. And in order to have that, the wick of the candle needs to be more than twice the size of the body of the candle. And there really can't be much of a lower wick here. So if price gets down, John, even to the low of the day, and the low of the day right now is 920, what we can see is the body of this candle will not be, will be less than, uh, will be more than, tw will, will be will not be small enough because the wick will not be twice the size of the body. First, I want I just want to, we're going to go to a break here and I want to come back and take a look at NVIDIA. But did I confuse the heck out of you? I'm listening, Steve, with interest. You're still listening. Okay. We're going to clean up that language when we get back from this break. We're going to take a look at NVIDIA out there, get a feel for what it's communicating to us. Steve Rhodes with TFNN, with John and Philly on the other side of the line. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at the charts here for NVIDIA. John, Mr. Z inside the Tiger's Den, uh, who, who was unable to uh, hang on out there. He's going to listen to the discussion offline out here. Uh, he's really asking the question about, or I, I took the question to be, if we, if we get a bearish reversal candle inside of NVIDIA today, what does it mean? He was looking at the possibility of being a shooting star. What we identified was that that's not a likely possibility, but it could. If we take a look at the chart right now in a daily time frame, John, if price closes within half the body of yesterday's candle, which is pretty much about where we're at right now, right around this 912 area. So right around there. But you could actually go do the calculation out here. If price closes within inside half of this body of yesterday's candle, that would be considered a dark cloud cover candle. Of course, it might form an actual bearish engulfing candle by just simply engulfing yesterday's open and closing below that. And that would require a close below 926.69 out there. So there's a possibility of getting a bearish reversal signal inside of NVIDIA. It just wouldn't be a shooting star. Now, the reason to take a look at that on the daily time frame, you know, I can find an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside, but I've done the larger time frames out here. I've done a weekly chart. I've done a monthly time frame chart, and you can see the two different A to B equals CD patterns that are present. So what we do know is if I can generate an A to B equals CD pattern on a weekly or monthly, that same pattern would exist in the daily time frame. And so therefore, the reason to be um, the, therefore the reason to be watching for a bearish reversal candle today. OK, so now that I could show you those A to B equals CD patterns, now let's Let's go take a look at what I did then, and and part of the reason to to delay was my system's running a little bit slow, and I can't really reboot everything. I can, but then we'll be off the air for about ten minutes or so, and we're not going to do that. But what I did was I wanted to put up the multi time frame charts out here, as opposed to just looking at a thirty minute time frame chart as an example, and so that everybody can get a feel for what the charts for NVIDIA are telling us. So number one, let's just take a look at the yearly time frame chart. 
you already know that we're trading, you know, above last year's high. It gets very bullish out there. But the other thing that's very bullish here, John, about NVIDIA is it's negating its TD9 count top. It's negating its TD9 count top from last year out there. So very strong move. You didn't need me to tell you that. But it is simply, it's important to get a good view of what's going on. Because when we look at the monthly time frame chart here for NVIDIA, it's nothing but bullish. Yes, it's attained the 2.618 A to B equals CD pattern. But there's no other pattern that is out there. And it doesn't have a bearish reversal candle. On the weekly time frame, we've got a negated TD9 count top. That's taking place as we speak right now. Now, that would change if NVIDIA sells off and closes below the high which is 823.94 not a likely outcome but it could take place out there so be 823.94 that would say oh that still maintains its td9 count otherwise weekly chart says i still want to move higher the uh, daily time frame chart uh, if we don't get that bearish so if we did get a bearish reversal candle we don't have it at the moment at 1121 but if we did get that the signal then would confirm a rosemont indicator top what that would then tell me, John, is that price should get back and test support. Well, the first level of support in NVIDIA right now would be that oscillator and change line. So that's going to be in the 877 area, 877.90 or so is on my screen at the moment. And if price were to close below that, that would tell us for the daily time frame that NVIDIA has lost its momentum. If it loses momentum, it's still bullish, but if it loses, and it would have a bearish reversal candle, but if it loses the momentum, odds favor a further retracement. Well, that further retracement could take us back to the next level of support. That next level of support on NVIDIA would be 807.79. So now let's go take a look at those intraday charts out there. What's the 195-minute time frame chart doing? That 195-minute time frame is going to close at halfway through the session. That should be at about 1245 this afternoon. Right now we have a dark cloud cover candle out here, speaking of that. And so that would confirm a Rhodes Mintum indicator top for its time frame. The 130 minute does not have a topping pattern. Maybe there's an A to B equals CD for its time frame. I'm not going to go ahead and try to pull that apart, nor will I for the 65 minute. Why? Because the 30 minute chart's got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The 50 minute time frame, price is pulled back and is testing breakout support. So, John and everybody else, paying attention to NVIDIA, trying to look for the first clue of a potential chink in the armor, I would have to say it's 916.60. If on a 15-minute basis price can close below that, that would be the first chink. Where's the second chink? The second chink is the bottom of the 30-minute profile, since we have a TD9 count, Rhodes Mentum Indicator top. That level is at 915.51. So if on a 30-minute basis right now that level's been tested, that is held as support, but if price did close below that, in less than seven minutes from now, that would signal to you and I another chink in the armor. And that chink would then suggest getting back to the 847 level. Well, if we get back to 847, well, you can see right now it's about 915, just under 915 is where we get that uh, dark cloud uh, cover candle, 913. Make it nine. Make it 913.70. That's what I saw up on my screen out there for the daily time frame. So it's got potential here, John. The one progression step at a time, just like your QB, you know, for the Super Bowl team out there. You start, you know, you're, 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 you start the shortest time frame first to feel what's going on there, 1530, 6530. So it's got potential. So I hope that that answered your question with regard to NVIDIA. And as always, thanks so much for the call. Let's go take a look at some other requests that have come in then we can go take a look at the general markets get back to those this uh first request well um shoot i changed that uh, nordic american tankers my apology this will take a moment as i said my system's running just a tad slow out here and so we'll let these uh, uh this is a question coming in from bob in spokane and bob uh it, what i can share with you about nordic american tankers is that is that what? Right now, price is consolidated with inside its profile. So that's your range out here. I don't know if there's, yeah, it looks to me like there was also a buy the D point pattern. So this has a buy the D point pattern. It was this bullish piercing candle. Piercing candle is the exact opposite of the dark cloud cover candle out here. So that formed on February 26th. That is a buy the D point pattern that is out there with price consolidated with inside its profile level. That's between 4 1 at support. 413 is really your cent is the center of the profile. Both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value there. And the top are resists at 433. Why didn't this change? Huh. Oh, I know why it didn't change because I deleted that chart and I had to put a new one and I forgot to 
get this all set. Ah, oh, shoot. All right, so let me get uh, Nordic American Tankers out here. Let me get it for the weekly and the uh, monthly time frame. What I'll share with you, though, at the moment here, Bob, is that the weekly time frame has profile levels. 389 is support. 431 is resistance. On a monthly time frame, when that populates here, you'll see that on a monthly basis, price is trade above profile resistance, which resides at 351. Now, on that weekly time frame, I don't have much more than that. The consolidation is a daily that's got the buy the D point. On the monthly time frame, I see a TD9 count top. That TD9 count top has taken price back to both profile support. It's taken price back to that green oscillator and change line. So Nordic, Nordic American tankers for its monthly time frame, uh, Bob, is, uh, is neutral. Neutral to bullish out here uh, because uh, sellers were not able to bust through those key levels of support out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at Nordic American tankers. I hope that review assisted you with your trade. Uh, Brett writes in, wants to take a look at ticker symbol G triple R out here. So let's get the GUR up on our screens. And uh, Brett is uh, waiting to buy. He's waiting patiently to buy this. Now, today... So there's an A to B equals CD to the downside. There's really a couple of them in here that we can draw. Let's take a look at the first one. The first one, which is much smaller, our A point starts up here in the trading day of uh, February 6th, and it comes all the way down here to the low on February 8th. I'm just going to move this into that uh, C point. So there's your A to B equals CD pattern. That's really the only one we need to know right now. And so the question is, if we get a bullish reversal candle at day's end, and this could turn into a hammer candle, then we'd have a buy the D point pattern. The further looking at GRR, we'll get back to the screen. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. 
Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Charts here for GRR. That is a gorilla. All uh, right, GRR is a gorilla, something or other. Gorilla technology. So we were talking about the A to, the first A to B equals CD pattern that's out there. And if at day's end this generated a bullish reversal candle, that would be a Gartley buy pattern. Now volume here today is still pretty high. It's uh, so far during the day it's done a little over a million shares, one million sixty-eight. If we multiply that times three, we get to over three million shares. Well, there's another swing point here that it's dealing with. That's a swing point from February 15th. That low is 73 cents. The volume there was 2.7 million. So the question is, does the A to B equals CD pattern get much larger, right? Does it look like this? So we take this all the way up here, A, you know, and so you've got to be, well, one, one of the things with the A to B equals CD pattern, the market gives you new information. As it gives you new information, you've got to be willing to take that information and redraw the pattern. So there's still two A to B equals CD patterns out here. But this one, let's assume you don't get a bullish reversal candle today. What's its message? And because it's going to potentially pass that B point with volume, I'll tell you what its message would be, that this stock would get down to about 35 cents or so. 38 cents is what it looks like uh, when we take a look at this A to B equals CD pattern out there. So, Brent, you're waiting patiently. I think right now the first thing you've got to do is wait to see if you get a bullish reversal candle. If you do, then you've got a decision to make out there. And that decision says, well, let's go take a look at an intraday time period chart, which we could do on Monday because then we would have that action to see if that's signaling that we've got some type of bottom or just some type of little counter trend move that's out there. So that's what I see when we take a look at GRR. I hope that that helps you out. And as always, thanks so much for your request this week. Uh, next request comes in from Alton who wants to take a look at ticker symbol LNC out there. LNC is Lincoln National Corp out here. And uh, so I want to make sure hopefully all there was LNC, not LNG, but the LNC does exist. So I'm assuming that's what you were looking at. And right now, as we take a look at this on a uh, daily time frame, I don't see much out here. What I do see is that price tried to get back inside its bearish structure daily profile after being below it for weeks on end out there. So what I can share with you is on any rally, Alton, 28.11 is your key resistance battle. You would need to see price close above that to suggest that, okay, something else is going on here that buyers now have the upper hand. So we'll leave you with that idea that sellers are the ones that have the upper hand. Buyers were able to this week, just like they did about four weeks ago, test and reject the oscillator and change line, and it's trading with inside its bullish structure profile. So that's suggesting, hey, it might want to get up to 28.56. Well, 28.11 is really, again, where that battle would be. I don't have a signal suggesting that that's a likely outcome right now on the daily time frame. I don't have really any signal other than a sideways consolidation out there. And the monthly time frame, that sums it up. That's got a consolidation between 22.11 and 29.33. Those were its profile levels out there. So all the help that helped you out with regard to LNC, that was Lincoln National Corp out there. If it was LNG, then right back, and we'll certainly go ahead and take a look at that. Bob and Spokane wanted to take a look at ticker symbol CRDF out here. So let's pull that up, see what that is communicating to us. Well, it's communicating that it's going to complete a TD9 count top today. Uh, bar number nine completed yesterday. Uh, wave number four, I've got letter D, Basil likes to say, and, and, and I believe him that uh, when you get to letter four, that fourth move out there, something else can happen. Well, that something else out here should be a move back to support. And that support area would be between 303 and 316. However... If price takes out yesterday's high, when I say take out, I mean closes above it. And yesterday's high is uh, $4.12. If it closes above it um, on Monday, not today, but if it closes above it on Monday, Tuesday, it negates that signal and says that we're headed higher out there. Um, where is its profile? Where's the top of its profile? 340. Um, and you're trading above that right now. That's so interesting. So... Oh, I see. The bottom is all the way down here. That's right. What a gigantic profile. 
But this form, so this is an interesting, it's an interesting stock to analyze, Bob. Why? Because this profile formed below price. And that is a bullish signal out there. So you've got to, I'm going to have to go with the daily time frame, the correct signal, the correct message, the correct message that this is communicating to you and I is that on a daily time frame, its message is neutral. The weekly time frame is anything but neutral. It is bar number eight that's going to complete this week. So a TD9 count top could form between this week and the next two. Monthly chart is trading above profile resistance at 275. It looks to me like this wants to rally further. However, you still have got that TD9 count top. So support, I would watch 316. If this closed below 316, we're likely headed lower. A buck 96 might be the area where we're headed to. And if we close above yesterday's high out there, let's say on Monday, Tuesday, or what have you, uh, this wants to continue to head higher. So hope I didn't confuse you. Hope that helped you out. That was uh, Cardiff uh, Oncology out there. Uh, Duncan Steve would like to take a look at the CFLT. So let's fire that up. I think I might have to see here no we do have that that should be up on our screen that is confluent inc and duncan's question is is this still headed for the 39 dollar area out there so let's try to answer that this has a so this has a roads momentum indicator top right now so let me pull this back just a bit a, a bit so see how this has a gap to the downside out here, Duncan? That took place on May the 5th. In order for that gap to get closed, for that window to get repaired, price must close above the low of the bar from March 4th. And that low is 34.01. So far, that is held as resistance. It was tested this morning. It was tested two days ago. If price were to close above that level, again, that level being 34.01, it would close that gap, and then it would not have a roads momentum indicator top. However, I see wave number seven signal. Let me try to pick that up. Yeah. So it has a confirmed wave number seven. So there are two topping patterns. Not that that makes it more bearish than one topping pattern. It just has two, and that means there's two for you to manage and watch. So CFLT, Confluent Inc., will not get to that $39 level now until you see it close above that swing point at March the 4th, which was at wave seven top. That's at 3507 out there. Volume on that bar is about 7.9 million shares out there. And then when it uh, dropped, oh, it moved down with 6.7 million shares. So right now you got sideways move, but you do have the bearish signal out there on the daily time frame. So your question is, will it get to 39? Um, right now the answer is, I don't know. I don't, um, it's got some work to do. Where when we took a look at it before, maybe it didn't have that work. That I don't know. On the weekly time frame chart, it's bullish out here. However, oh, now that we take a look at it, oh, wait a minute. This has got a Gartley sell pattern. So you got the top on the daily. What's a Gartley sell pattern? It's an A to B equals CD, in this case here, and a move that was moving to the downside that somebody would have wanted to have gotten into. So if we draw the A to B point out there, and I'll just simply copy and paste and assemble. That makes me a CPA. So let's copy, paste, and assemble out there. I'm a real good one. And uh, so now we can see this attained more than the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. We have a key reversal bar this week. Key reversal bar requires three things. One, you've got to exceed the prior bars high and low. It did that. Number two, you've got to be in extended condition. Well, an A to B equals CD qualifies for that program. And number three, you've got to close one tick in the opposite direction of the trend. Doesn't look like it's going to have any problem doing that. So you got a weekly top and a daily top out there. Price should pull back further. Where is that price target? I'd say 28.31. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. We'll take a look at the stock uh, charts again for NVIDIA. Uh, George wrote in and he asked, is there, a three, is, there a, is there a David White three gap play out here? So let's open up the uh, chart again. I assume, George, you're talking about the daily time frame. And so I don't see a three gap play. I see some gaps out here. But that uh, third gap needs to be the largest of the three, both in uh, percentage wise as well as um, uh, distance wise. And uh, so I don't see that. I see a large gap that was out here uh, from the trading session on February 23rd. And then the uh, two gaps that followed that were much smaller than that gap. So it doesn't qualify. But that you don't need that right now. So, George, uh, uh, right now what we have is actual key reversal bar. We talked about a key reversal in the last instrument that we took a look at. I, I just can't even remember what that is. It's off my screen. And that is, again... A key reversal bar, you need three things. Those three things are, number one, the current bar must exceed both the high and low of the prior bar. Well, we've now done that. Number two, you must be in extended condition. Well, no one's going to argue in NVIDIA that it's not in an extended condition. And then number three, price must close one tick in the opposite direction. So in this case here, we don't need a Japanese candlestick, bearish reversal candle. You already have that. But it also does mean that price in NVIDIA today must close below... 951.38. It's got to close below 951.38. If it doesn't do that, you don't have a key reversal bar. You don't have any kind of a top. You do have a wave seven pattern that would still exist out here. Now, here's the here's the fly in the financial ointment with regard to Nvidia, and that is price has gotten down basically and test that green oscillator and change on it. It's still above profiles. So even if you get that bearish reversal candle today, again. It doesn't have to be a Japanese version. It can just be a key reversal bar out there. It would still be an overall neutral signal. We'd have to have some real good compelling reasons out here when we take a look at it on the intraday charts to suggest that that top is in. We may get that at day Zen. But uh, make sure you're doing your analysis on the intraday charts out here for NVIDIA as well. So, George, hope that uh, cleared that up for you. And again, with regard to NVIDIA, it really doesn't matter right now for today's price action and what we would call. Um, Hector and Patty write in. They wanted to take a look at I'm going to go ahead and close this out, free up some resources out here. They wanted to take a look at Caterpillar. CAT is a ticker symbol. I'm going to show those charts. and I'm going to switch over to my black background screen. 
uh, in a moment. And uh, because the question is really about where to draw the A to B equals CD pattern. But what I wanted to also do here first, since they're asking about NVIDIA, see what kind of other signals we have. Turns out that yesterday was the completion of a TD9 count top. Now, if that high gets negated, meaning we get a close above it, it being 342.34, we're at 340.82 right now. If price closed above 342.34, it negates that signal and says we continue to move higher out there. The weekly chart is only in bar number seven, needs a bearish reversal candle, if this is the completed A to B equals CD, to generate a uh, sell the D point pattern. The monthly time frame chart does not have any kind of a bearish signal as we speak right now. So it's a daily that does have that TD9 count top, but if price closes above yesterday's high, that pattern gets negated. Price right now is also above the top of that daily profile and that green oscillator and change line out there. So its signal is neutral. It's really not bearish when we take a look at Caterpillar on the daily time frame. Now let's switch over and take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern and try to help Hector and Patty identify what is it that we would use for swing points to generate that A to B equals CD pattern. Let's start with the easy one or easy ones first out here. And the easy ones being the monthly time frame. Why on the monthly time frame? Because you've got less noise out there. When you have less, less noise, it becomes much easier to figure out. So the very first thing, we've got one, we're going to draw in a couple different A to B equals CD patterns. You were asking about the monthly and the weekly, I believe. So let's take a look at the one that takes us all the way back to 2009. March of 2009, that would be an A point. My B point out here, let's see where the high came in. Let's see, that was 116.25, 116.55. What was this one right here? 116.55 it is. So 116.55, that's the high for the week of May the uh, of 2011. And then the C point is all the way down here for this in January of 2016. So that's one version of an A to B equals CD. What's the second version of an A to B equals CD pattern? We can start on the monthly basis and still stick with our A point, March of 2009. We're just going to switch our B point to the high that comes in in 2018, January of 2018. And that retracement down to the low of 2020. Now, when we take a look at that A to B equals CD pattern, this has just hit the one to, where'd the heck that go? I need to get, uh, shoot, let me do this here. Because I even I'm confusing. Let me see if this will just get rid of that one. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So that's at the 1 to 1 1.618 A to B equals CD. There's another one that we can draw on the monthly time frame. I'm just going to delete this so that I don't have to confuse myself again. So on a monthly basis out here. Now, we haven't checked in volume because those are been completed patterns. They already attain different levels. Another one is starting with March of 2009. And for the high, the June of 2021 level. And then for your C point out here, Hector, September of 2022, that would be your, oh my goodness, sorry about that. Stevie needs to do a better job of grabbing the A point. March of 2009, perfect, okay. We got that done. Here's your A to B equals CD. This is using the much larger pattern that has uh, formed. And this would give you a price projection up in the 385 level. Now on this one here, the monthly B point was again the week that began June of 2020, oh, month, the month of June of 2021. Volume there, 103 million shares. When it was passed, it was with 50 million. When it was passed again, it was with 65 million shares out there. So I don't have the volume, but nonetheless, it still may go ahead and target a 385 level. So that's on the monthly time frame. Let's see on the weekly time frame. I do have an A to B equals CD that's already been drawn in. Looks like we're going to draw that in again. And this is the one, Hector, that's coming off of the... There's so many out here. So I understand why you could be confused about the A to B equals CD patterns out here because there are just so many that you could draw in and you've got to draw them all in. But what's that do if you get a bearish reversal candle? You know, which one is, has worked, which one hasn't? That's why you need to really take a look at some of those other tools out there. Where is price trading in relationship to profile levels? Where is price trading in relationship to its oscillator and change line? Because then you know you've got some downside targets to watch price and see how that price action reacts at those support levels out there. So I hope that that answered your questions with regard to A to B equals CD patterns. There's not just one. There's many out there for Caterpillar. The next question that came in is from John in Milwaukee. He wants to take a look at uh, Smucker's SJM and his question, two questions really, where's the buy and where's the sell? 
Great question. Let's see if we can figure that out. First, with regard to the buy, we take a look at the daily time frame. I don't see any kind of a bottoming pattern. We're trading below its bullish structured daily profile. This looks like week number three below that. I can tell that the next support level out here, John, on a daily time frame is down at the 109.54 area. If we look at the weekly time frame, this completed a TD9 count top. We now have price below, it's going to close the week out below its red oscillator and change line. Those are just simply bearish conditions, period. End of story. Why? Because that tells us we have a falling price oscillator below zero. Where is it going to target? 111.50 is what it would like to get down to. So we've got 109.54 and 111.50 as our downside price targets. We're below profile levels on the monthly time frame, so they too are suggesting that. You might say to yourself, well, Stevie, if that's the case, why is it rallying today? It's just rallying today because then if you take a look at the intraday chart, take a look at a 30-minute time frame chart, it formed a TD9 count bottom, it formed a Rhodes Midium indicator bottom, and right now prices rallied right into breakdown resistance at 119.30. If you get a close above 119.30, well, then you should see a further move higher out there. Otherwise, the move for the day inside of Smuckers is over. See Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we got a mixed bag out there. You've got the Dow up 75, S&P's off 7. NASDAQ 100 is down 131. Russell's up 8. Semis are down 115. Trannies are up 16. A total mixed bag out there. And uh, we're going to go take a look at um, URA in a moment, and then we're going to finish by taking a look at the Sox and then GWRE. So let's get over to uh, URA. This is for Lee. Lee's asking the question, is today a sell? 
Yesterday was certainly buy. Price closed above the top of that daily profile. You don't have two consecutive sessions above it, at least at this moment in time. And so yesterday was a false breakout signal. Now, price may just be pulling back to test support out here, support being at 28.12. If price were to close below 28.12, that would signal to you, Lee, that price should pull back to 27.63 to 27.10. What you like is the action on the weekly time frame because price is above the bullish structured weekly pro for the center of it at 28.01. And the monthly chart has held that oscillator and change line at 2739 out there. So um, is it a sell? I don't know your strategy on this, but price has gotten back inside the profile, whereas yesterday it looked like we were in a breakout mode. We are no longer in that, unless we get a close about 2869 today. Uh, the next request was, again, to take a look at the uh, semiconductor area uh, by uh, uh, G-Man. Uh, he wanted to look at SOXL. SOXL and the semiconductor index have really the same patterns. And that is, there's an A to B equals CD pattern. Right now, we have a key reversal bar in SOXL. That's generating a sell the D point pattern. However, that what entitles XOSL, SOXL to just simply get back and test 48.87 or thereabouts. That's that daily oscillator and change line. If price were to close below that G-man, then we'd be looking for a move to 44.05, 41.60, 40.38. The weekly does have a TD9 count. Uh, uh, bar number eight that's going to form it likely will form a TD9 count next week on Friday. It'll do that as long as price closes above 38.33 out there. Uh, lastly, to show uh, close out the show, let's take a look at the GWRE. What do we know about it? What do we know about it? We know that if price is trading above the top of a, a new daily profile and the price can close above 118.51, that would be a bullish signal. The weekly chart. As a TD, as a road momentum indicator top, the only way that gets negated, Dan, is a close above last week's high at 121.74. Otherwise, you are going to get a, I can't, uh, you're going to get a TD9 count top on the weekly time frame as well. Um, Dan, I need more time to review this. I'll leave this on my screen and come Monday morning. That's what we'll do is we'll take a look at GWRE. Folks, have a fabulous weekend. Be safe out there. We'll see you on Monday.